citizens of the reject nation you asked and we delivered tara oh. erickson is back on the channel round of applause for you tara it's good to see you we're about to watch hotel transylvania for the first time and i am very first excited i wrote this movie off a little bit when it first came out only to discover that it is a gendy tartakovsky joint Big love for Dexter's Laboratory, some beautiful animation across like Samurai Jack and Primal and all sorts of other stuff. So I'm actually quite excited now to check this out. But Tara, how are you feeling today? I mean, I'm excited to watch a movie that I have never watched that I also wrote off back in 20. 12. Oh, the end of the world. Yeah. yeah, 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 taking it back. We're about to get spooky, but before we do, leave a like on this video, and also be sure to hit that subscribe button, and when you do that, ring the bell, ring the bell. I have been waiting to hear that it's again been too for long. months. <laughs> and don't forget to follow Tara over on social media, as well as LA Eats and Drinks, which is your uh, new food-based endeavor, no? Yeah, it's great. I have it on YouTube and Instagram. Go give it a follow, give it a like. You can also give me a good old like on the YouTubes. Guys, <laughs> the last thing I need to tell you before we hop into this is to come check us out over at patreon.com slash the real rejects. When you subscribe over there, you can check out the full length watch along of Hotel Transylvania. Sync up with your own copy, see everything that doesn't make these reaction highlights. And uh, without further ado, let's get spooky. Let's do it. <laughs> Castle Dracula. Oh. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Peekaboo! <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. I want to kiss your tool. <laughs> I want to kiss your tool. Magic diaper change. Wow, that would just, that would be a dream. Parenthood seems so much easier as a vampire. Yeah. Maybe a little more square footage. I want a lot of monsters here. Oh, we never go out there. Ever. Why not? Harry the human found them and jumped out from under their bed. I'm scared. And burned their clothes and took their candy. Oh. You went too far. I promised your mommy I would protect you forever. Aww. Aww. Where's mommy? Beautiful Maven. Let me wipe all your poop away. <laughs> <laughs> and if a human tries to harm you, I'll simply say. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Because you're. <laughs> uh. Just bend the legs and push off. Trust me, mouse. Oh. Hey! Oh. Faster, baby, faster! You got it, my little voodoo doll! <laughs> I just love the details in this room. <laughs> like a doll in a cage and a pile of little skulls. A pile of skulls on the floor. 400 acres of haunted forest in front of you. You've got the land of the undead on the perimeters. Any yeah. humans daring to even look over there will run away real quick. I'd be like, what up, Zomb? Yeah, let's take a picnic out in that graveyard. The place we always talked about for Mavis. No one will ever harm her here. Oh! Wow! Holy junk! Uh, that is a castle, Dracula. <laughs> I would love to live there. And a Hotel Transylvania. Ah! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Headless carriage driver. Uh, Whoa. Oh, cool. Welcome to Hotel Transylvania. <laughs> oh, fun. There is a clogged toilet in room 348. <laughs> oh. Okay, we all get stomach aches, Mr. Bigfoot. Uh, uh, Gonna need a bigger plunger. <laughs> 
Hey, kid. Oh. oh. You're only supposed to make mom and dad miserable. Is this Steve Buscemi? The family looks beautiful. <laughs> Let me just clean up their filth. Housekeeping. Hey. Uh, cool. It's like the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. SpongeBob not looking Everything so good. Everything is alive. Buddy, what's going on with your cape there? What do you mean? <laughs> oh. Who pinched me? You're irresistible. Yes, very amusing, invisible man. Hello, great to see you. <laughs> 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 Zing. You're looking skinny too. Now that you're just ahead. Oh, okay. You'll pay for that. <laughs> oh. So what's up, Dragon Coat? <laughs> nope, still not right. You were right about those directions. Oh good, good. <laughs> yeah. I took the tigers through the Nile and there was absolutely God. no traffic. Oh, oh uh... gnarly. Jeez. Not the cause of that. Uh, That's CeeLo Green's voice. Aww. In another successful year of refuge from them. Uh -oh. These are recent human images our surveillance has uncovered. They are getting fat. Uh -oh. But they will never find us here. Evil villain, you will never win. Uh you said that when I turned 118, I could go out into the world like every other adult. She looks great. Go from this hotel. <laughs> and no reflection. I like that you just showed them like a snuff film in the lobby before. <laughs> Equivalent. Do not disturb. 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 Oh, I want one of those on my door for do not disturb. Same. You want to go out into the world, you can. You gave me your word, and you know that I know that a Dracula's word is sacred, that our trust is the core of our... Wait, what? I said you can go. Oh. Uh... Holy rabies! Holy rabies! Uh oh Not expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to paradise, and this is just some stuff that I thought I would need. It's that place out there where you and Mom met. Oh. Uh -huh. Why won't you ever tell me about how you met? It's actually Hawaii. How what what? <laughs> but everyone has gone to Great Lanes to come see you on your birthday. I love them, but I really want to see new things. Maybe meet somebody my age. You're only 118. <laughs> You're just a child. <laughs> Don't give me the pouty bat face. Oh, so cute. There is a humid village just a little ways past the cemetery. You could go there and be back in like 30 minutes or so. Thanks for trusting me. Of course, my little one. I gave you my word. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, what? Have you lost it? Letting your own daughter out there with those horrible humans you always tell us about? They hate us. They're vicious. And they're very loud. <laughs> <laughs> She's a Dracula for Pete's sake. But seriously, watch out for fire. <laughs> fire bad. Fire bad. I like Why the... are there candles lit on a carpet if fire is bad? Yeah, I know. This and right above fire your head. <laughs> waiting to happen. I also love that the bride of Frankenstein looks like Frankenhooker as well. <laughs> they gave her the Frankenhooker colored <laughs> outfit. <laughs> like, I wonder if that's intentional. All he needs to do is like find her a place with like a heavy goth community and she'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or punk rock. Exactly. There's nobody there. Is this like he built this and it's fake and there's oh my no God. humans? Was there a some one of the signs to carry and it had pigs on it? <laughs> oh. Uh hello? Is there anybody out there? Ah, no, thank you. My name is Mavis Dracula, and Vampire. Vampire. Close. Really? Vampire. Um, we take your dead. Oh, they're like fake. They I look think you're fake. right. Like, like it is he's like a, controlling them, like a ride. It's like a model village, and these must be like zombies in disguise or something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Ah, you called it. We called it. We terror. called it. <laughs> Please, have 
never hurt anyone. I'm homeschooled. <laughs> Is that garlic? Garlic bread. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Oh boy. I mean, a human might do that. Fire! Oh, fire bad. Whoa. Hey, you don't need a mannequin. Aww. Uh -huh. <laughs> but, but Lars and the real girl. Uh, oh, uh, excellent sound stages. <laughs> <laughs> this is where they produce all their films. Nice job. <laughs> this is backlot, <laughs> backlot Transylvania. You were right. Humans are awful. They were everything you said. They wanted to bite my toes. Your toes. And they had garlic on bread. <laughs> uh, delicious. What did you do? What I had to. Sure thank me one day. Yeah. That's what the guy who shrunk my head said. <laughs> uh, Is it Trader Sam? Uh -huh. Two of his heads for one of yours? Woo! Yeah. Oh, someone her age. Yes. A human. <sighs> cool. Man, no. Who are you? And how did you find this place? Uh -huh. Oh, I'm Jonathan. And I was just mountain climbing with some dudes. <laughs> Andy uh <-huh>. Samberg. <laughs> a story about a spooky forest. <laughs> <And> <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna go into a spooky forest, right? <laughs> and I just kind of follow them to this like amazing castle. It's every white guy in a horror movie. <laughs> I feel so represented. If someone should see you, no one would ever come again. <laughs> oh, yeah, go for it. I love your Dracula voice. It's so over the top. <laughs> <laughs> Just a monster yeah, with everybody me. Everybody stepped it up tonight. Who's your Dracula? Hey, Sniffy. What's going on? Not right uh, now, Quasimodo. Uh, Ratatouille. Hey. Don't be absurd. It's not a human, but mess your Dracula. <laughs> How ridiculous. It's me. <laughs> Mario. How are you pulling this off? I could just put my hand right through. <gasps> oh. What do you think you're doing? Uh, oh, no. Keep your hands out of my wife! Oh. Dude. Oh. Me too at the Hotel Transylvania. Pure chaos. <laughs> oh, oh, damn. No. Mm -mm. That's a big no old giant tarantula. spider for me. Nope. I don't know why I ever wanted to leave. The humans are so boring. <laughs> no, uh -oh. no. Not the pregnant lady. Oh. Meet cute. Who is that? Nobody. Seriously, Dad? <laughs> Dad? Dracula's daughter. Everyone freaks out at first. Dracula? <laughs> <laughs> it's a place I build for all those monsters out there lurking in the shadows. A place of peace, relaxation, and tranquility. Cool, so it's like a hotel for monsters? <laughs> <laughs> Who exactly is that? I thought it would be even more bestie specialist if someone closer to your age helped plan the party. Aww. Uh, How old are you? 118. 100 and... Uh. I'm 121. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're not hanging out. Because you are leaving. Oh, uh, cool. Is that real about the garlic thing? Yes, I cannot have that. My throat swells. Oh. It's too bad. We it's need delicious. An yeah, well, who wouldn't that kill? <laughs> That's a great point, actually. <laughs> Steak in the heart. Yes, I know it's your honeymoon. I apologize. Go go back to doing what you were doing. Uh, <laughs> What's happening? I'm terribly sorry. Is it my mistake? What is wrong with Jeez. you people? Uh, <laughs> the animation is really funny. Yeah. Like, I love the sort of cartoonier aspects. Did you get to rehearse at all, Zombie Beethoven? <laughs> <laughs> we even thought maybe you'd sing with us. You know that I haven't sung in public since Martha. Yeah, but we just thought that how much, you know, Mavis would love it. I said no! Oh. Don't ask me again! <laughs> now let's hug the zombies. Let's all make up. Wow. He really scared you. I wasn't scared. I was, I was, being, I was being polite, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the Frankenstein. I'm his cousin, Johnny Stein. Johnny Stein. Hey, Mavis. <laughs> oh. Are these monsters gonna kill me? Not as long as they think you're a monster. Huh? That's kind of racist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Now oh, that is, 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 is he making fun of me? That's kind of racist. <laughs> the original owner of your arm had the brother. Who married a woman. Who was racist. For strangling a pig. I have pig strangling uh -huh. blood in my arm? That's kind of cool. Well, cuz, great to meet you. Whoa. <laughs> you all play? Let's check you guys out. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like only yesterday you were eating mosquitoes. <laughs> Tell me, where did the time go, girl? Whoa, 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 hold on, guys. <laughs> That's cute, but kind of old school. Yeah. Yeah, let's punk rock it up. Give me a jam. <laughs> Two, three, four, vampire girl with the fangy fangs. Hair real cute with the fangy fangs. Eh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I am so blown away right now. Cuz is gonna make this the best party ever! Yeah. Maybe you can find a way to give me some shit. Uh-huh. 27. Oh, oh my god. 27. Shut up. That's uh, the only kind of bingo I ever want to play. Same <laughs> Aww. Bingo! Bingo! Oh. Uh oh. I didn't do that. Fly. Uh, Pants. Film. Bleh. Vomit. Bleh. Oh, I'm tired just watching this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny gag. Uh. <laughs> oh. uh. Is this how Razor Scooters got popular? It's because of this movie. <laughs> Do for another comeback. Into the Taj Mahal? Come on, no monster's been to the Taj. Man, I wish I well. could. Well, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> how did you deal with the mob? Yeah, you know, you just gotta roll. He just rolls. <laughs> That's cool that he rolls. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Brought you a bagel with your favorites. That Scream looks cheese. delicious. <gasps> oh, scream cheese. <laughs> You will say you hurt your back and you have to leave. Oh, dudes! Oh, my back! I hurt your back? No, no, he said, "Oh, my back." Get on my back! Let's do it. Whoa. Goodbye. Push you off. Check it All his oh. makeup's gonna come off. Oh boy. Oh boy. Honey, the Stein boys are bread for this kind of thing. Run them all! Physical gags are very funny. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, this is make. Oh wow. Oh god. Okay. You have no memory of this place or the monsters you met. Now go and never return. But it's Jansport. Return to the hotel? What? <laughs> well, I just used my powers to erase your memory. I looked straight into your eyes. Huh. Oh, maybe it's the contact lenses. The what? Ah. <laughs> uh, Here, let me just try and get him out real quick. Uh, oh, that's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, God. That's the scariest part of this movie. Or I will track you down and suck every ounce of blood from your body until you look like a deflated whoopee cushion. Dad? <laughs> oh, I thought she was going to show up. Yeah, same. Guess not. Follow me. Oh, oh, no, no, Mavis, I can't. I have to leave. You sure? It'll be fun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Wowie. Cool. You can almost see Budapest. Is that near Hawaii? Hey. Uh. Oh, Wi Fi? You've, you've been everywhere. I'm only going to be uh, 121 once, right? Gotta live it. Yeah. You said it. Oh, oh man. So pretty. The sunrise from Oh, here he's not burning, amazing. though. Ow. Oh, Sorry. come on. I have an idea. Oh. Uh. Watch. 
Oh. When's that Johnny kid gonna be done party planning? And it was so nice seeing Mavis laughing and hitting it off with him. Mavis could never be with someone of his kind. Oh, sorry. Oh, hello. This is the most incredible thing I've ever seen. No. Oh! He decided he didn't like Mavis or any of us. Uh. Go to a corner. You're in the timeout. Time out? I'm a grown man. Ah! Oh. 16 to 47, 19 to 50. Oh. Awesomeness. Just let me do my work. <laughs> 36 up. To 35. Oh, cool. Oh, where'd you go, Grandpa? Don't freak out, gravity face. <laughs> Eat my huh? dust, gray thing. 56 and 43 to my side. Ah, <laughs> uh, you gonna trick him into having fun? Uh, yeah. Yes, keep smelling. Oh my! You catch the human, and then I will make human pot pie. Uh, oh. No. Uh oh. 47, 45, 65, 76, 48. Block his path. Block his path. <laughs> wow. Whoa. That's gonna hurt if they're. Oh, come on oh. now, dude, man. Nice. Uh. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, fun times. I got you, buddy. Hey. Frenzies. Oh, you too. You did it, kid. Now he's going to have to protect you so you don't become soup. And I have to say, that was fun. Uh-oh, is he hurt? Nailed it! Johnny? Uh, what? Quasimodo! <laughs> Doing the anime run. <laughs> do you know where Johnny went? Uh, why do you want to know? Oh, uh... Do you like him? What? It's like, are you an idiot or do you know you're adorable? Hmm. Aww. I need them stopped immediately. Is that clear? Yes, quite. We are on it. Whoa. What is the meaning of this? Let me pass, Quasimodo Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Why did that hurt? Ouch. Why did that hurt? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Spider's just trying to kick it. Again. When you bump with the hump, you land on your uh, <laughs> Bars. Bars. <laughs> <laughs> Good uh, oh, no. Damn no. it. <laughs> Sir, he made it into the kitchen. I'm sorry, honey. I, I have to. <laughs> the eyes follow you. <laughs> if he is a monster, let him scare Esmeralda. The mouse? Give it a go, kid. Rawr. <laughs> Too much. I know her. There's a whole legend oh. around that lady. The story is that a lonely count met her by chance, and they say that no two souls were ever more meant for each other. Aww. A horrible tragedy happened. A fire started mysteriously one night, and it killed both of them. Oh, sad. Beautiful animation. It was only the wife that died. Oh, love her little brooch thing. She was killed by your kind. Vampire. <laughs> Martha. Oh, Mavis has feelings for you. What? I, I just awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cute. <laughs> You'd make a great vampire. Because I think I kind of got your hypno eyes. Let me see it. Yes. Be well, for you are in my power. <laughs> uh. The werewolf man. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be kid. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. They have a lot of kids. Too many. Oh. 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 
I didn't order a wake-up call. Count Dracula arranged it for all the rooms. Mm. Ouch. Where's the snooze button? There will be no snoozing. The party's today. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for him. <laughs> oh. Change of fashion. <laughs> Get that cape. Yeah, girl. Oh, oh, the gift. What's it gonna be? I can't believe it's your big night. Yeah. Oh yeah. Where did the time go, girl? <laughs> Spooky auto tune. <laughs> oh. Dang. Looking good in that cape, girl. That's a glow up. Wow. Jeez. <sighs> Paris, what? Broadway, New York, Moscow. Ho wee wee! -wee. <laughs> Aloha! <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, trust fall. Whoa! Now do the Wednesday Adams dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no! Falling in love. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Got the moves. He knows how to have fun now. I'm crazily scared right now. Maybe that's a good thing. Uh. Uh oh. Maybe I want to give the village another chance. I just need to learn, you know. Just well, that won't make a difference. How do you because know? Because it just won't. Why? Why won't because it? Because that village doesn't really exist. Ugh. Done. Oh, uh, the base. He says Dracula has brought a human into the hotel. <gasps> <laughs> there is the human. He has a French accent. Uh, <gasps> oh. No, get off me! <laughs> I don't believe no. it. No. No. Are you a human? Are you in Frank face? Yes. <laughs> I'm so sorry. She's going to be okay with it. Yeah. I don't care. Oh. I still want to be with you. Oh. Turn him. I don't want to be with you because you're a monster <gasps> and I hate monsters. No. This is all your fault. Whoa. Oh. Oh. You're the real monster. Yeah, man. Mavis. Can you do me a favor? Will you erase my mind? Oh. oh. There are so many eligible monsters out there. You're, you're so young. To <laughs> what is it? What are you reading? Oh. Is that her gift? <laughs> Two lonely bats crashed in the night. They felt a zing love at first sight. Oh. Mm -hmm. Your zing will come, my love. Cherish it. Love, mommy. Mommy. I thought we zinged, dad. But you should be happy, dad. There's no reason for me to leave. I have no more dreams. Oh. I'm just like you now. Oh. oh. Ouch. What's Tell that? her the truth, dad. It's your fault. Yeah. Martha, what have I done? Why did you say that name? <laughs> you messed up, man. Please stop! <laughs> it's too late, Rat Bat! I need you to help me find Johnny. The human? He could have killed us. He touched my guitar. Oh. The truth is, I don't even know if humans are bad anymore. First you tell us <laughs> humans are bad, now they're good. What else? Up is down, cold is hot, gremlins don't smell. Hey! Hey. Uh -huh. I think they zinged. They, they zinged? But I got in the way. You only zing once. Ha ha ha. What are we doing? Let's get Johnny. Come on. Yeah, let's go. A happy mob. <laughs> Where am I going? The human world before Johnny's gone forever. But what about the sun? 
I don't know. I'll just have to roll. Haha. <laughs> this is the classic Universal Monster gang. Uh -huh. My sniffing tracking days are way behind me. Do you know how many diapers I've changed? How many uh. number twos have destroyed this thing? Oh. He's got an army now. Whoa. <laughs> cool. <laughs> what, he blow the wolf whistle? Winnie, front and center. Oh, she's so cute. I can't stand it. I drove through town to the airport. <laughs> Flight 497, 8 a.m. departure. That's in 15 minutes. Oh, man. 23A. Jeez. Part of a vegetarian meal. Okay, oh. thank you, cutie. Oh. I love her. Good job, Winnie. Oh, lots of shit. Uh, I got this one. <laughs> oh, wow. Whoa. Wow. Okay. That was pretty sick, man. You eat lamb chops. It's the same thing. <laughs> Uh huh. Jeez. Could save some of the wool. Oh. What's a monster fun. festival? Supplies Drax okay in the sunlight. Uh -huh. This is how you blend in. Perfect. Do you know the best way to the airport? Yes, fellow Dracula. There's <coughs> only one way, blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. But the only way they know the real us is if we show the real us. <laughs> I got nothing. Oh. Ah! Whoa. Ah! Yay. <laughs> what a wonderful performance. Nice pipes, Tamika. Down there's the real Dracula. Prove it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is how we prove all humans are good. Clear a path for the man. Protect our friend. Blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. Cool. Hey. We did it. Very clever. It's great. Look. Go get him. Go. 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 Aw, Hapula. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lot of Draculas. Is Dracula the Joker of the monster convention? <laughs> oh, he's so sad. Oh, oh you're gonna burn! Oh, oh no! How are you gonna get it there? Oh god. Oh man. Oh. I must do this. No! Ah, no! 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 These poor wings. Come on. Oh. Twilight. Dracula! I can't understand you. What? My hands in a tan shoe? <laughs> what? Japan's eating lamb stew? <laughs> Uh -huh. uh. Oh. Well, we hear a special announcement for my dear friend John. I have made a terrible mistake. <laughs> you and Mavis are meant to be. You zing. I hope you can hear me and forgive me. <laughs> Aww, Aww, you too. So cute. Okay, folks, we're going to make a quick turnaround uh, huh? to refuel, and then we'll be back on our way. <laughs> he made a big sacrifice. You know, Mommy already gave you her birthday present. Can I now give you mine? What do I need this for? Oh, it comes with an <laughs> accessory. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you back? Because you're my zing, Mavis. Aww. You told me you hate monsters. I was afraid your dad was going to suck all the blood out of my body if I didn't say that. Hey, no, he's right. I would have done that. Dad. Oh. <laughs> can we try that kiss over again? <laughs> I think we can. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Sorry, just a habit. 
I, I just I got to get used to that. that just, <laughs> go, go, do do your thing. Yeah, <laughs> get out of here, Dad. <laughs> Sing. Aww. Oh, so cute. <laughs> I thought I found a love, but she was just a fling. And then I met a girl and felt a different thing. It's like yes. in the ring, like you're pulled by a string. Can't uh -huh. like you're choking on a chicken wing. Uh -huh. And listen to the ballads of the man named Sting. Lady looks in the eyes and suddenly spring. Uh -huh. With Lala, look at Simba and the Lion King. Uh -huh. <laughs> Singing in the rain, now I'm feeling no pain. It's a real time for Simba. Cause you're my zing. Aww. Cute. Oh, come on, just give it a try. All right, maybe just a little. So, this uh -huh. is how you sing this for me. Uh -huh. Get ready to clean, because if love was money, you'd be getting chicken next to a zing, Cuba's arrows, a little bit of Bars. Zing it, and there was only one lady in the zing for me, because when you think, what's the thing? You better know what thing, the only thing you're going to sling is a wedding ring. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh boy. Oh, oh. On a flying table. Well done. Hip tunes ah. of 2012. I love that they took the time to do a little 2D for the credits here. He Really bring some of those Gindy Tartakovsky vibes. <laughs> Whoa. Yes. Cool. I like when Adam Sandler plays like a full on character. I thought it was Selena Gomez. Ah. Damn it. I should have called it. <laughs> I really okay. like this song. Dude. I'm a monster. I'm a monster. Get that download. Kevin James. Okay. Steve Buscemi, Molly Shannon. Molly Shannon. Well, that was Fran Drescher was Miss Frankenstein. That one David was Spade obvious, and John. Surely. I'm sorry. For, I mean, can't obviously. Get all can't get all of them. <laughs> oh, this is so delightful. Catherine Apple is a, an adorable name. Absolutely. I didn't do that. Yeah. I'm a monster. Yes, I'm a I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Love it. Yes. <laughs> oh, that was delightful. It was fun. What did you think, Tara Erickson? I liked it. I had fun. I thought that <clears throat> I liked how they got to the heart more towards the end. I wanted more a little bit of that heart up top so that I cared uh, just slightly more. Maybe, I think would have made that moment between him and the kid um, when he shows the kid the girl's mother, Mavis's mother. Mm. I thought it would have made it more impactful. There's something about it where I was like, oh, I wanted a little more heart at top to get to, uh, to get to that part between him and the kid. But overall, uh, it was a lot of fun. The animation was hilarious. A lot of the physical gags were made on top of the punchline jokes. It's it's really like a lot of comedy the entire time. I yeah. felt like like everything. If you looked around, there's a punchline either physical or verbally, mm -hmm. which I'm like. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a comedy. It's great. Yeah, yeah. I, I can, I can, I can, I, I get why they position things the way they did. However, I could see, yeah, like even starting the movie off with a prologue or something that talks about or that that sort of shows what happened to you know Dracula and his love or or, yeah. or something like that. Yeah, but um, I do agree. Like I, I, I in the age of you know the expansion of animated movies and things like that. And in like a post Pixar world, I've come to sort of appreciate, you know, the tradition of slightly zanier animated fair, you know, not that that's what I want everything to be. And I certainly love when you have like a Pixar thing that's trying to get all deep and stuff, but I do also just appreciate the tradition of, you know, classic comedic animation and, you know, coming from somebody like Gindy Tartakovsky, who has, 
a lot of experience, especially in like 2D stuff. I did really appreciate, like like you pointed out, all that physicality to go along with the written jokes because there's so much like squash and stretch and like big poses and and yeah, just like really punchy and quirky physical animation that I thought you know harkens to you know a lot of those more 2D styles of animation, but was well suited to this. So yeah, it's like even though it certainly starts out in the light and fun territory and then eventually develops its heart over time. I was always kind of enticed by whatever was going on, whether it be just the fun stuff or whether it be like, I got a little misty eyed, you know, during some of the more emotional beats later on. Um, And I just, you know, as, as someone who like loves horror and monster movies and stuff, like there's just so many little fun details and, and the way they realize just, the world and this society of monsters I thought was really charming. Yeah, the editing was amazing, especially when they're cutting back and forth in in the very beginning of setting it up of like Hotel Transylvania when you see all the monsters you're introduced to those characters and how they're all moving about the world, but very quickly. Mm -hmm. I I really thought that that was like very good. Yeah, yeah, and a great like a a great array of voices too, I thought, because I mean, you know, you're in an Adam Sandler joint so you're going to have mm-hmm. a bunch of Adam Sandler's friends on the mm-hmm. voice cast. Yeah. Uh, but I thought it worked, you know, because cause one thing I, I know that kind of dogs some animation is is people get kind of frustrated with, like, you cast just these big names when you could be casting real voice actors who are well-suited to animation. But here I thought, I mean, everybody was well-cast for the most part, yeah. and certain people, you know, you could tell, but other people, you know, were kind of more in character in a way that you might not have expected so much. So, like, I I always prefer Adam Sandler when he's committed to a character of some kind. Um, so, yeah, like, having him, you know, at least committed to this accent and this Dracula vibe, you know, was a nice, you know, sort of departure for me. Granted, I'm not seeing him on screen, but, you know, it's just like a a, a nice, you know, commitment to the character, I thought. Yeah. I also was like, ah, it's a little outdated with, like, her. that The, the zing needing, like, she needs to get married and, like, have a, have a man. I'm yeah. like, this is outdated, but it was still very <laughs> cute. Um, I also think, obviously, yes, there are people who are, you're still going to have a zing and people are getting married still all over the world. Yeah. It's just that, that it's, it's, it's an old school aspect. Yeah. Um, versus. Uh, it's, a, it's simple. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's very, it's simple where I'm like, oh, it would have been, uh, maybe not that they would like, uh, I wish, I kind of wish that there would have been something said that, yes, they had a zing. But it's like, um, the zing might not last forever. Like, no pressure. Why don't we just, like, travel and be buddies and see how it goes? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that would that would have been too much. I think it's adorable the way it is. It's just, yes, it's a little, it, it seemed a little like, uh, okay. Yeah, t- toward a more modern sensibility, you go like, okay, like, you know, it, it's a certain perspective that you, you yeah. only have your one zing and this right. is the thing. And, and and yeah, like I don't necessarily begrudge it that. But also I think, yeah, like a more uh, interesting choice could have just been like, no, you know what? You should go out and experience the world. Yeah. You know, you've grown up enough to know how to take care of yourself a little bit. And yes, follow this romance, certainly. Yeah. But you never know what will happen, you know, so don't, you know, put all your eggs, eggs into in that one basket. basket. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, sort of, if if you're teaching, if you're trying to share a, a thing here with children of the same age, it's sort of like, go out, explore, but you don't have to, like, commit to this one zingy dude. Yes, right? especially because, like, you know, he's, and I wonder if, I don't know, in the sequels, maybe they'll turn him or something or what, but, you right. know, it's like she's a- 118 and he's, like, 21 or something. Right. Like, he's, you know, like, a, a young adult. Uh, and so, you know, you also have those questions about, like, you know. So much time. Yeah, what's, what, what is he gonna, he's, he's gonna have to turn if they're gonna spend their whole yeah. lives together. Um, but I liked his character, and I liked, um, Oh, he's so funny. Like, I'd forgotten to, I, you know, I'd seen the trailer for this ages ago, but I'd forgotten, uh, that entire aspect of the trailer. I just remembered, like, yeah, it's Dracula, Hotel for Monsters, and, uh, and he's got a daughter. And so, like, at the outset of the movie, I was like, okay, it's gonna be about him learning to let go. Um, but, you know, and it's, it's a classic, you know, animation trope, but I liked, yeah, the Andy Samberg character coming in and teaching everybody how to loosen up a little bit, have a little fun. And I like this stuff about, you know, like how monsters view the humans and how humans view the monsters. And like, 
certainly it is a, a lucky thing that they happened upon a monster festival where people are inclined to yeah. be excited. <laughs> that was a little like, oh, all right, yeah. Um, but again, it's like it's an animated movie. It's it's a family movie, certainly. Uh, so I don't begrudge it that. And, and like, you know, any of those choices that like could have been more rich or more interesting at least always led to, again, fun bits, fun gags, little comic strippy things that, again, took me back to, yeah, just... Just sort of like the the classic animation that you know is a bit slapsticky and and you know funny and fun, um, and yeah, like you know coming out of something like a Dexter's Laboratory way back in the day, it's like I liked seeing some of those traditions in a three D animated format where, yeah, it's like you have the crazy physicality and uh, the mannerisms and all that stuff again, like the squash and stretchiness and just like the, yeah, the they're really good at that punchy physical comedy. Yeah, I thought I thought there was a lot of like Beauty and the Beast tropes in this because like sure. I was even gonna say from the very beginning I'm like the forest looks like Beauty and the Beast because yeah. Beauty and the Beast she's like run it looks just like that and then um yeah it's very much like they come with pitchforks on fire to kill the beast <laughs> um which I'm like whatever the, yes it makes sense like that that's what people do to kill monsters but it gave me sort of a little bit of that vibe yeah of Beauty and the Beast vibes which uh I love Beauty and the Beast it's great. Certainly. It's one of the best, stuff. yeah. One of the best Disney's animated, yeah. Um, and the songs in this were fun; they were good. I liked mm -hmm. when there was when they were singing. I was like, "Good times." Yeah, I, I can I I I it depend. It's a case by case. I could take or leave. Uh, you know, like the the in this kind of movie, this sort of like dance party number and we got to make the characters oh, rap right and, and i think not the ending the oh but the, the beginning sure but yeah i get sure, it. Sure. I, get. <laughs> I mean not to begrudge that song either like it's appropriate it fits like i, I don't think it's it's bad per se but i do it's funny that like and and uh andy samberg should have should go on later to do the Chippendale movie where they literally call out the whole thing about like animated characters have to rap. rap. <laughs> um, and you know, like it was fine. Like I've heard cringier versions of that. And I also thought it was funny that like CeeLo Green is a singer and they auto tuned the shit out of his uh, yeah. voice. Sorry. Why? Kids. Cause he's great. Yeah. And, and said he's known for those pipes and like, yeah. they, they, let, they let Selena Gomez sing a little bit. And, and when she started singing, that was when I, the whole time I was sitting there going, I bet that's her. But when she started singing, I was like, okay, must be. Like, that probably is part of why they hired her. But, you know, yeah. even there, you get a little bit of a Lonely Island song, and that helps that it for me a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because, yeah. you know, I feel like there is an inroad there where it's not just like, oh, we're trying to make a cool pop song for the end of this movie for the kids and, you know, something to play on Radio Disney or whatever. Uh, you know, it's having that association for me from my perspective as an adult viewer is like oh, okay cool it's like the lego movie has a, a lonely island tune in it so like having I, I guess what i'm trying to say is having that comedic element to the song just knowing andy andy samberg's rapping adds to the lightness of it yeah um but the earlier bits yeah it's like when they're practicing f to play for... the actual birthday party yeah and they do their dreary song it sounded like great it sounded yeah. Perfectly like detuned and sort of like flattened, but not yeah. bad. And then he picks up the guitar and like really breathes some life into it. And I thought that was like a musical gag that had a nice uh, disposition about it. Yeah, because I feel like in the musicals that I've seen that I've liked, they all sound real. It's not like auto tune. There's nothing on top of it. It's it's more real voices. But it it is funny to me of what you said, like CeeLo Green, Selena Gomez, they can like actually really sing that I'm like, oh, they could have really utilized that a lot more. Yeah. And I thought with that Adam Sandler, they and would Adam, let yeah. him sing. Like, I again, yeah. the rap is fun. Like yeah. the bars are, are again, I've heard worse bars in movies like this, but I'm yeah. like, Adam Sandler is partly known for musical comedy. So I was thinking like, oh, he's going to have some kind of like fun Dracula style number or showstopper or or even just one of his you know guitar songs or something like right. that right you know not that it like needs that like the priority of this isn't to you know be an adam sandler joint first and foremost you know it's like i think a lot of kids watching it probably wouldn't be even aware of that but right. uh, you know yeah I, I thought it was interesting it, it is one of the more odd and the more sort of like markety elements of the movie i guess to me is is yeah it's like the the you know show stopping musical numbers have that sort of like hyper polish on them, um, 
but you know, again, not like inappropriate, not like you know, ugh, turn this off or something like that. You know. Yeah. No. Just was. Just yeah. A like little an interesting overly choice. polished. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. In some in some of the cases. But uh, I liked how they used the lore. I love the personality of the hotel and the just characterization of all yeah. the different creatures and all the fun, uh, again, like little voices and stuff popping up. Uh, yeah, that's like, I, would, I would gladly continue on if uh, anybody cares about, you know, watching the sequels. Uh, this was right. this was certainly, you know, like like we set up at the top. We both were kind of like, eh, yeah. you know, Adam Sandler anime movie. I'm sure it'll be fine. But I was yeah. like quite delighted, like not maybe 100% perfect, but for the most part, I came out of this with, like, a, a really sort of joyous, fun feeling. Yeah. And it hit, all the, it hit all the important boxes with gusto yes. for me. So anything that I might gripe about is, like, not that big a deal, in my viewing experience anyway. Yeah, mine either. I thought it was a lot of fun. I liked the jokes in it and the characters, like, especially in, uh, what's the kid's name with the... What's his name? Oh my God! Sip, dip, dip, do in this. What is his name with the red hair? Uh, was John, his name John, actually John, Johnny? Johnny? They called him Johnny Frank. It's Johnny Stein. Yeah, it was like was his what is his name? act? <laughs> Whatever. We'll just call him Johnny Stein. I'm IMDb like, well, I don't really know what his quick. name was, but I liked the um, the juxtaposition between him and all of the other characters, and him just sort of being a deadpan teen. Which uh, made a lot of those jokes that come from all of those animated characters and all those crazy voices made him, he's not, a little bit of the straight man to bounce off of. And yeah. with his like deadpan, I was like, it, there was a sort of relief in there, which I really enjoyed. Sure, sure. Yeah, I liked that. Yeah, and I mean, like, I, I, I'm always delighted for a, a surprise Andy Samberg, and like, you know, I, I like that, uh, that they, that he and Sandler have become buds. But yeah, like, you know, because he's one of those guys too, where he brings his Sandberginess, but also is perfect for this kind of character. Oh yeah, you know, he's got that yeah. thing. You know, he, <laughs> he plays up that like, you know, kind of broish like young dude yeah. uh, intonation, and and uh, <laughs> and just yeah, like his plucky enthusiasm, and then actually. Having him freak out, I thought was a, a good call instead of making him just immune to everything. It's like at first he shows up and he thinks like, oh, cool, this is fun. This is, you know, a nice gag. And then he realized everything's real. And like, I'm glad that they had at least that debate. And then, you know, little asides to, again, tolerance and things like that through this character. Yeah. And whatever else. But uh, yeah, man, I had a blast. I had fun, Thank fun times. Fun times. We did it again, Thank man. Thank you for joining me, Tara. I'm glad that we got to share this. It seemed like the, like a good uh, uh, vehicle for vehicle. us. Vehicle. Because we're always searching. When after after searching after uh, Last of Us, people were like, "We need more Tara." Yeah. So uh, yeah. So and now I'm back. Yeah, you're gonna oh, get so and, sick of it. It's gonna be yeah. nothing but Tara from you're now be like, on. Get her out of here. In fact, we're just gonna and shoot. I'm still gonna be here. That's right. We're yeah. gonna shoot your reaction twice. Splice oh, it together so it's lovely. like you watching with yourself. With myself. Exactly. Yeah. And then and then release it four times a week. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Love that love mm -hmm. that for me honestly i do too <laughs> yeah i mean if you guys get tired of it i don't care no nah, never guys I do not care i don't care what you're tired of but what i do care about is what you thought about this movie yeah. did you grow up with this did you love this do you how what are your thoughts what are your feelings what other animated fare would you like to see us check out if we haven't seen it already what's your favorite gendy tartakovsky joint he's got a new show out i'm excited to see unicorn warriors eternal and uh, I'm glad that he's had uh, just, uh, you know, is getting his flowers these days, you know? He seems like uh, <laughs> he's finally, he's been prolific for so long. And, uh, and yeah, I'm just glad to, you know, that people are learning his name. It's in the recognition. Exactly. So like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Keep an eye out on the channel for the next reaction. And, hey, before we get out of here, let's do a little patron of the day shout out. Let's do it. Mark. Leech, Mark, I chose you because out of everyone remaining for the month of May shoutouts, you have perhaps the spookiest implication with your name. Last name. But also a misunderstood implication because leeches get a bad rap, my friend. But they're part of our ecosystem. They're not monsters. They have many practical applications and they're alive. They've got hopes and aspirations. They want to see the world, but they're afraid because we, 
Uh, you know, we don't like them. Yeah, exactly. You know, a leech is a leech. I'm not. I don't really. I don't want to hang out with them. I don't really want them to leech and like suck my blood. Even if I was like dying, I might be like, I feel like, can we find anything else besides a leech? See and see. So you could be the PR like dream come true for the leech community because you are the perfect intersection. You're a human person. But you can also commune with both sides and maybe enlighten us, make us more tolerant of leech kind. And then maybe in Hotel Transylvania 2, oh. there will be like a whole leech subplot. Yeah, we didn't see any leeches. No, not no. A one. And that's it's unfortunate. Like, what, you, spiders and yeah. fleas and things? I mean, leeches belong in that, in that category. Right? Sure, sure. For sure. They, were, they, they would be like, you know, they, they got like a pond or something yeah. out there that they were all swimming in or, or like a pool. You could have so many leeches. They There's have piranhas. piranhas. Where's the leeches? Yeah, exactly. Get on that, man. Get on it, Mark. Insert yourself. Yeah, come on now. And stay pledged and uh, and keep being the opposite of a leech in our lives. And, uh, and hey, we stay sexy. You. We support oh, you. Yeah. He was going to say stay sexy, but I said a different thing. That's okay. I was gonna say, like, That's do people okay. make this jo- like? How many leech jokes do you have to bear as a human? You know, it's like my <laughs> right. name, my last Terrible. name, Humphrey. You get a lot oh, of jokes right. throughout your life that people think are original, but then they're absolutely not original. That's why you just don't ever make the joke when it's obvious. You just don't even, you just don't even do it. Like for Humphrey, I would never mention his last name ever. For Leech, I wouldn't do it either, except for here. No, we should redo this thing. shout out. Actually, we should redo the whole thing. I'm <laughs> so sorry, Mark. Because we messed up on the jokes, right? That's why you're saying that. Because we didn't do enough. We or didn't do enough did. jokes. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Well, it is what it is. That's supposed to be a joke, Tara. Oh, sorry. D- Mark, yeah, you, you know it. what? June, we're gonna get it right. Yeah. Love you, buddy. Stay pledged. Bye.